welcome back to the channel so uh, you can see I've made it indoors to the garage this week because it's pretty cold outside and not very nice so uh, I thought what we'd do is we'd use the brake flaring tool have a bit of a practice with that because it's worth learning how to use it Also thought I'm not sure if I explained uh, I've been getting quite a few deliveries recently that's why my bench is a bit of a mess uh, actually anyone that knows me knows that my bench is a mess all the time in this box we've got some rather nice brake backing plates for the Volvo so that's rather good that that's turned up uh, we've also got various bits and pieces like um, rubber bushes for the rear uh, we've got some brake lines braided brake lines for the rear as well so starting to build up a pile of parts that we are going to need for the rear um, but I thought we'd, uh, we'd have a go with the, bla the, the brake flaring tool because uh, we've got these little brake nuts here I've got the flaring tool and I've got loads of copper pipe to try this out because what I'm thinking is the first bits I want to try is just making a, a kind of end and see how the flaring tool works, how it fits together, that kind of thing. And actually I'm going to crimp over these test ones and I might use those to cap off the ABS pump because what I've read is that obviously I don't want all of the fluid draining out because then you've got to kind of bleed the whole brake system and the ABS pump, which is the tricky part of this. This is uh, uh, because it's a 1994 Volvo 480 it's got ABS all around. Uh, so what I'm thinking is I can make a little capped off bit of pipe, just a, a small piece of copper pipe with one of these fittings on the end and then crimp it right over so that it's a seal. That means that at the pump what I can do is undo the existing pipes, put these on and it kind of caps it off with very little loss. So that's the theory anyway and then we can have a bit of a learn as we go. So let's give it a try shall we? Now I have to say I'm not very good with this close-up filming stuff, used to doing it in a car, so you have to bear with me if the, the light levels aren't right, that kind of thing. Hopefully it'll work okay. So in here we have the brake flaring tool. So there's the tool itself, uh, yeah, the grease, and we've got the uh, a couple of different ends on it. Tell you what, I'll get those out and I'll show you. We've got the double end there, we've got the single end there, and then the grease. These are our ends that I got with the copper pipe, and it looks like we've got some instructions as well, so that might be useful. Might have a little read of that, or we might just have a go and see what happens. Now, one thing I failed to mention and I failed to order was a proper cutter and deburring tool. As you can see when a copper pipe has been cut, or you may be able to see, I'm not quite sure, that there's a bit of a flared end. It's just the way that the pipe cutters work and you don't want that because that's restricting the flow. So uh, I'm going to get one of those on order but for now I can still keep practicing with my uh, with my tool here. So here we go. Uh, first thing we've got a punch grease. Uh, the camera probably doesn't focus on the bottom there do not eat obviously because we're all morons these days right so first thing that you want to do is open up the tool and just make sure there's nothing jammed in there it's all good and then I'm going to do this up finger tight because you need to be able to push the copper pipe into it you don't want it too difficult to get into place so if I do this up finger tight here's a quick tip if you're doing this on the car right now is when you want to put your end on because the worst thing is doing the flare and then realizing you haven't put 
the end piece on and then you're screwed really aren't you you've got to cut it off and do it all again so don't forget to do that I probably will at some point but anyway so this piece here the flat one is the end tool and what we want to do is put that in so it's flush like that and then we push our pipe in until it stops and you see it's a little bit too tight just loosen those a bit until the pipe can go in freely there we go and then push it you can hear it's now stopping on our stopper that's what we want so now that that's in all the way up to there we want to tighten these up there's a spanner for this don't need to go crazy we don't want to crush the pipe but there that's the pipe nicely held in place and we can take this out if it gets stuck use a 16 why make it difficult when we've got tools to do the job for us there we go and if you want to have a look I don't know whether you'll be able to see in the end there no of course you can't but basically that's now sticking out just the right amount for us to start doing our flaring and this is where we bring in our flaring tool now on the flaring tool you can't really make it out but it says op one with an arrow pointing up over on one of the two ends now that means operation one so do this first basically so that's what we do to do our single flare get a little bit of the grease dab that in the end like that that should do and then start off finger tight as with any nut bolt or fitting start to do that now it's got tough what we want to do now keep a good hold of that get our 16 mil spanner and keep going and what we're doing is we're going all the way so that this tool is flush with the main silver piece and you can see it kind of gets stuck at one bit and what this is doing this is actually doing the, the first flare the single flare but just keep going it takes a little bit of force for the last bit because remember it's doing stuff and I think that is just about flush yeah there we go so you can see that's now gone flush and that should be our single flare done so I can now undo Ooh. I'm not the strongest people in the world and you know what I'm gonna have a little look and see what that looks like this being my first attempt now you wouldn't need to you don't need to undo this this is just because I'm interested to see what it actually looks like what do we think has it worked of course it's worked that is a single flare I'm quite pleased with that that looks all right that does not bad at all so we want to continue though so put it back into the tool now what I'm doing is I'm pulling it so that it's right up against like I say ideally you wouldn't really undo it but it's my first go really and I am I'm following the instructions on the bit of paper which is probably the most complicated set of instructions I've ever read to be fair it, it's not very intuitive for something that to me seems quite simple once you actually start on it so there we go. let's just give those a little crank again just to hold our pipe in place there we go right so what we can now do is move on to our double flare so remember follow the up one and it's the other end we want 
So it's that end. Let's have a bit more grease on the end. Don't go crazy with the grease. And then again. Just start to do that and I can feel it starting to bite. So let's get the spanner. 16. 16 mil. And then again. All the way up to the edge using your super strength like I'm doing and there we go again nice and flush now that that's done let's try and undo it without hurting myself reveal is whether this has worked or not. There we have a double flare. Now the camera is not very great at fine detail this close up because the focus isn't great on it but you can see we now have our double flare. Let's just zoom out. And you'll probably be able to see it clearer. So there we go. I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with that. that. That looks quite decent, actually. So like I said, I'm going to make four of these because I think it's worthwhile doing this because it's helping me practice before I have to do it kind of on the car or at least in somewhere near the car in position once I've ran the brake lines. Um, but then I'm going to use these to cap off the ABS, like I was mentioning. So what you can then do is fit our end pieces on, ready for fastening into the car. So I'm quite pleased with that. And there we go. A little, uh, a little quick video on creating brake lines. What I'll do is I'll put the tools and the parts and the, the copper pipe that I ordered in the description below so if you want to do this or you want to give it a go then you can follow and get the same tools that I have here really easy and uh, they're quite common tools as well so not very expensive either and they're quite easy to use actually I'm, I'm surprised how simple and straightforward this actually is so uh, there we go so I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please do pop a like and a comment down below if you want to see more like this then subscribe as well and we'll have some more videos coming up very very shortly indeed thank you so much for watching and um, see you in the next videos